What if I told you that your favorite programming language might be bad for our climate because the code you write in this language leads to higher energy consumption when compared to other languages implementing the same program. In this video I want to take a look at the research paper Energy Efficiency Across Programming Languages published by Rui Pereira and his colleagues from Portugal. They compared 27 different programming languages in terms of runtime, peak memory usage and most importantly energy efficiency. Since the beginning of computer programming, programmers, computer architects and compiler designers have been mostly concerned with the runtime of a program, meaning how long it takes from starting a program until it produces an output. However, due to Moore's law and Dennard scaling coming to an end, transistor sizes do not shrink as much as they used to, which leads to processors not becoming faster and more energy efficient, while software becomes more demanding. Especially in data centers where there are thousands of servers crunching numbers, the performance per watt is more important than the raw performance itself. And performance per watt, maybe gamers don't care that much. Actually, we know for a fact gamers don't care that much. In the data center, that's everything. On the other end, there are embedded systems such as smartphones or computers in electric vehicles that only have a limited amount of energy available and therefore require software that runs energy efficient to increase the time before the next charge is needed. In the paper, the authors raised the question, is a faster program also more energy efficient? Intuitively you might think yes of course, the longer a program runs, the more energy it needs. However, physics likes to have a word with us regarding energy. Energy can be defined as the time multiplied by the power. So the runtime is only one of the factors and the other is power. Moreover, depending what a program does with the processor and the memory, the power can be vastly different. In order to compare programming languages in a fair competition, they must all implement the same algorithm. Luckily, there is a place on the internet where programming experts upload their best performing implementations for a set of programming problems. This is the Computer Language Benchmark Game, or short CLBG for which you can find a link down below in the description. From the set of available implementations in different languages, the author selected 10 programming problems that cover a wide variety of algorithms and are available in most programming languages. Those programming problems include binary tree allocation, traversal and deallocation, FASTA, a program for generating random DNA sequences, and Funko Redux, which is a way to permutate mean integer numbers. The list of languages tested in the paper by Pereira and his colleagues is quite extensive, including 27 different programming languages coming from different paradigms such as functional, imperative, scripting and object-oriented. Those languages are Swift, Perl, Lua, Python, PHP, Ruby, JRuby, Go, TypeScript, JavaScript, Dart, Haskell, Erlang, Chapel, Pascal, f -sharp, Hack, Racket, Lisp, Java, OCaml, ADA, Fortran, Rust, and C and C++. To measure each application's energy consumption and runtime, they used Intel's running average power limit tool, short REPL. To get the peak memory usage for every implementation, the Unix onboard tool time was employed. Ten measurements were collected for each implementation of each programming problem in the CLB suite. The measurements were carried out on a Linux Ubuntu server at version 16.10 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and an Intel Haswell i5-4000 450 CPU clocked at 3.2 GHz. In the paper's main section, the authors focus on three programming problems, binary tree, Fanco Redux and FASTA, which are the first three benchmarks from the CLBG suite in alphabetical order. The other measurements can be found in the paper's appendix. In the results, the programming languages are sorted going from the most energy efficient to the least energy efficient and in order to answer the question, is a faster programming language also more energy efficient, the authors denoted if a programming language would achieve a higher ranking if the tables were sorted by runtime with an arrow. And they did the same for the peak memory usage. From the table presented, we can see that C ranks amongst the most energy efficient programming languages and on average the fastest. On average, the language Lisp consumed 2.27 times more energy than C and is also 2.44 times slower. The language Pascal had a 1.92 times higher peak memory usage than C averaged across all benchmarks. Another takeaway from this data is that the compiled languages rank among the fastest and most energy efficient languages, while the interpreted languages are the least energy efficient and slowest languages. To be more precise, the following table shows the normalized global results of all measurements combined for each language. 
the result of the best performing language of each category is normalized to one to see the difference between programming languages more clearly. On average, the programming language is C, Rust, C++, Ada and Java are the most energy efficient, while only Java is a non-compiled language because it is executed on a VM. The least energy efficient languages are Lua, JRuby, Ruby, Python and Perl, which are all interpreted. The fastest languages are C, Rust, C++, Ada and Java. Moreover, the slowest languages according to the measurements are TypeScript, Ruby, Perl, Python and Lua. The languages using the least amount of memory are Pascal, Go, C, Fortran and C++, which are all compiled languages. The most memory hungry languages are Perl, Lua, Erlang, Dart and JRuby, which are except for Erlang interpreted languages. The authors could not find a consistent correlation between the peak memory usage and energy efficiency and only confirmed a weak uphill correlation coefficient of 0.21. This is a surprising find as memory is one of the most energy consuming parts of a computer system. With those results, the question is it possible to compare the energy efficiency of programming languages can be answered with yes. Comparing 27 languages across 10 programming problems shows significant energy consumption differences between programming languages. Which raises another important question. Can we automatically decide what the best software language considering energy, time and memory usage is? This question aims at combining different non-functional requirements to find the best programming language. While the previous results only considered one of the non-functional properties, an example for using more than one property could be a background process for a smartphone, where the implementation should have the highest energy efficiency and the smallest memory footprint and the runtime isn't that important. To answer this question, Pereira and his colleagues performed a Pareto analysis for four different pairings. Time and energy, energy and time, energy and memory and energy, time and memory. The results are presented in this table, where each line contains a set of languages that are equivalent to each other for the underlying objectives. On the top of this table are the optimal language sets and at the bottom are the languages that performed the worst. For the pairing of fastest runtime and least memory usage, the language C, Pascal and Go are the best, with Lua being at the last position. Looking at the energy and runtime, C is the single best language while Ruby is the worst. When setting the energy consumption and smallest memory footprint as an objective, C and Pascal are the languages providing the best performance and JRuby being the least favorable language. Taking all three objectives into account, C, Pascal and Go are placed at the top position and Lua, JRuby and Perl are on the last position. The conclusion from the Pareto analysis is that if you are only concerned with energy efficiency and runtime, there is a definitive best language for implementing your program, which is C. However, looking at all the other pairings, there is no single language that dominates all other programming languages. Let's sum everything up. There are stark differences when it comes to energy efficiency, runtime and memory usage of different programming languages. While compiled languages are the top languages overall, and interpreted languages are less favorable. When picking a language that is optimal in several categories, there is no clear winner except for the pairing of energy and runtime in which C dominates all other languages. What are your thoughts on energy efficient programming languages and did you already have to consider writing energy efficient code? Will this finding change your choice of programming language? Let me know down below in the comments and if you enjoyed this video and want to keep on watching, check out this video over here.